Hey guys, we're currently at Meiji Shrine, as you can see back there. We're yeah. about to enter and make a wish. Well, tell them how we got here. Uh, we took a train. Yeah, and then we just kept walking and we found it! <laughs> what a coincidence! The entrance to Meiji Shrine is located right outside of Harajuku Station, so it's very easy to find. Along the way you'll see beautiful scenery, forestry, and overall it's just a really cool experience to be out in nature and I highly recommend it if you want to break the pace from that busy city vibe. Along the way you'll find quite a few different things which we'll feature in this video, starting with a dango stand and our initial reaction to the mochi rice cake kind of snack. Alright guys, so we just got dango, and I don't know what that is, but I'm so excited to find out. Let's do it Mel, let's eat it. Mmm. They have like this sweet sauce on the outside, but I think it's just like rice cakes, if I'm not mistaken. We'll definitely have to do some research and figure out what it is. Interesting. You want to try it, Mel? Sure. Yeah. Is it hot? Ah, oh, savory shop out. Ah, oh, not shop out. Um. Yeah, like a rice pudding thing. Yeah, crap. Like puto. Oh puto? my gosh, to all the fillers, I forgot what it's called. Puto. Puto. Oh my gosh, even Neil knows. It's <laughs> legit puto. Actually, no, it is sweet. My bad. It yeah. just comes off as savory, but low key sweet. So we're just going to finish this and then we're going to head off to the shrine. So we'll check in with you then. So prior to entering a Japanese shrine, it's customary to scoop up some water from their basin and ration it to wash both your left and right hands, and if you want to go full traditional, your mouth as well, using the remaining water to wash the ladle. This symbolizes purifying oneself before entering the shrine. One thing you'll notice on weekends is just how packed it gets, but even then there's so much to see. And if you're really lucky, you might even witness a traditional Japanese wedding, which is something that we saw, and that was pretty cool. Alright, so we're here at Meiji Shrine, and it is massive. It looks so amazing, it's crazy. Check it out. We're just going to head down to the front there and make a wish, so let's do it. So if you want to pray at a shrine, typically you put some coins in their offerings box, you bow twice, clap your hands twice, and then think your thoughts and bow once again. And that's pretty much the whole process. Another thing you'll see people doing at shrines is writing their wishes down on wooden plates and hanging it up on this wall, where supposedly the legend goes the spirits receive them. The word itself, Emma, actually translates directly to picture horse because of its roots in ancient times where people used to donate their horses to shrines as a means of receiving good fortune. Pretty interesting, hey? I hope you enjoyed this video guys, let me know what you think in the comments below and until next time, we'll catch you later, peace.